Hey all rest here RV TV good morning. I regretfully am leaving Cottonwood Recreation Site here on Highway 93 along the Salmon River. What a beautiful and I mean beautiful place to stay. Definitely coming back to this one. Right, we're gonna wind along the river here. That's Salmon River on the left. And we're heading to the town of actually Salmon. I don't know, probably about 40 miles or so, something like that. The older gentleman back at the, the camp post, back at the campground, gave me just a ton of info. Wow, look at this coming up. Look at these mountains. Anyway, he was telling me all kinds of good stuff about this area. They've been coming here for years, camp hosting. And uh, what a beautiful place. Uh, look at the river right there. Look at the rocks. <laughs> Can you imagine when it snows? Man, this thing must be this deep in snow. Look how the rocks has trickled down. Cool. Still pretty early in the morning. Alright. Well, let me get through this. Hopefully I can find a place up here I can fly the drone. Pull off. Looks like up here. Wow, that's so neat. Hey, this will work. A few clouds, not too bad. Beautiful temperatures. What a perfect summer morning here in Idaho. Look at the colors. Look at the sun starting to hit. Wow, beautiful. All right, let me grab the drone, we'll launch it, and then we'll keep on going. Nice. We go. Yeah, that older gentleman back, the camp host back there at Cottonwood, he's saying how this floods through here when you get the snow melt. The waters really get roaring. Gold panning everywhere. I mean, you got fishing, gold panning. You name it, you have it here. Wow, look at that. Isn't that breathtaking? No clue how high we are here. Look at the clouds against the mountain. Picture perfect. And that's the way we're going to head. We're heading straight north. Beautiful. I don't see any fish. <laughs> nice clear water. Great fishing. All right, well, let's head on up the road. That was just too beautiful. Look at the green pasture on the right. Hey, cell tower. You know, I've had great cell reception most of the way through here so far. Back at that campground, I had three bars of uh, Verizon. Not much on AT&T, but Verizon seems to be the carrier here. Look how beautiful. Sun's coming up higher now, too. There goes a truck camper. 
Look at those rocks right there. Look at the formation. Perfect. Now there's farmland over on the left hand side. You see little bridges occasionally cutting across the water. Here are some houses. Up here on the left. Got the white picket fence. How nice is that? Oh heck, that's a campground. Cool. I bet a bunch of these places are like rentals, Airbnbs and stuff too. Yeah, they got trailers in there. RVs. Look like houses. Nice. I'm not sure of the name of this little place. Perfect. Yeah, see a sign for another RV park up here. What does it say? Elk Bend RV Park. There's a little store there on the left, too. Ain't much out here for stores. But I got supplied up in Chalice. And I'm sure up here at Salmon I'll get resupplied. I'm continuing on today. You know, the summer's getting... Uh, <laughs> we're getting a little ways into the summer. i got to pick up the pace here. Uh, I'm heading to Montana today. I'm going to do some serious driving once we get out of this beautiful, beautiful area. <laughs> right now I'm going slow. Historic site coming up. Got to check that out. Okay, here it is. Here, You know, these storyboards in Idaho are so well done. They're all numbered. They looked extremely well maintained. I'm sure there's a website. There has to be a website that covers that stuff. Idaho Hermits. Let's read it. Okay, someone lived in a hand-built dugout for 60 years. Dick Zimmerman. Wow. He was the Idaho Hermit. <laughs> cool. All right, we need to get on the road. Got to keep trucking. The Idaho Hermit. Who'd know? Okay, back on 93 North. Heading for the town of Salmon, Idaho. Gotta go across it. God, look at the mountain in front. I know I keep repeating myself, but I'm sorry. This is just unbelievable. Beautiful here. Look at this old bridge. Oh, it's drone time. Looks like there's a mine off to the right. I'm not going to go up that dirt road. Let me get turned around and parked here and then we'll launch a drone. This will work here. Wow, look at the iron beam holding that bridge. Look at the size of that thing. Woof.
right, up we go. Up in the Idaho blue sky. Look at the tall tree. We just passed 97 feet. That tree's 97 feet tall. <laughs> wow, look at that. Unreal. That is beautiful. You know, that Highway 93 is a good road, too. Look at the cliffs overhanging. Look for quartz. Might be some gold up there. <laughs> I see quartz. Wow. So that mine is up in that canyon right there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. How plush. That must be in the old bridge up there. Because right there is a new one we just went over. The size of that iron beam under that is massive. There goes the semi. Well, cool. Beautiful. There's your postcard moment. Well, it's time to move on, regretfully. Too bad there isn't camping down in here. Well, that is too beautiful. All right. Time to hit the road. What a nice stop. Just postcard perfect. Right, well, according to my phone here, we don't have too much farther to go to get up salmon. Once I get the salmon, I'm fueling, restocking, and we're going to keep on trucking. That'll be the next video. Actually, I'm supposed to run into some thunderstorms this afternoon. Once I get way up near Montana. Have to wait and see on that. like we're getting out of the heavy mountain, the tall mountains. Heavy. Tall. Oh! I can't believe what I just read on that sign. I gotta stop. I gotta go back and check that out. i go get a picture of that sign real quick. Oh my god. I can't believe it. <laughs> Wait till you see this thing. Sure, I don't get run over here. <laughs> uh, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. There's a salmon river. Wait till you read this. I gotta get closer. We're at the 45th parallel. We're halfway to the North Pole. <laughs> Thought I drove quite a ways. Halfway between the equator and the North Pole, right here. Check it out. So I'm standing on the north side. Now I'm south of the 45th. Now how cool is that? <laughs> oh, I had to get a picture of that. That is way too funny.
You know, I seen one of those signs on 84 when we were over in Utah. Or Oregon, excuse me, not Utah. So we're over halfway to the North Pole now. Not bad. <laughs> all right, let's go find another drone shot before we get out of the, all this area here. It's gotta be one more place to fly the drone. Then we'll keep on going. we go. What a fantastic, absolutely marvelous drive through this area. This whole 93. Ever since I left old uh, Arco and McKay. Unreal. Look at this. Do it. Put this on your bucket list. Come drive US 93 up through the mountains in Idaho. You won't regret it. The heck with that I-15. There's camping, RVing, fishing, you name it, it's here. And it's really good road too. This is definitely one for the memory book here. Glad I did it. Down description, there's all kinds of links to help support channel. I'll buy a cup of coffee, get a t-shirt, coffee mug, shop on Amazon. All the links are in there. All right, well, I'm almost up to the town of Salmon. Going to get supplies. Next video, we're heading to Montana. Get the heck out of Idaho. This summer's really moving along. I got to get some miles now. I got to start doing some distance in the daytimes. All right. Talk soon.